Hi guys, welcome to another session of how to write a scientific research paper. My name is Nasreen and in today's video, we're going to be looking at what is Eschbringer Journal Suggester. I'm really excited to be here and I hope you can get something new from this video. Choosing the right academic journal as the primary step in sending your manuscript process prevents the common mistake of editorial rejection of manuscript before peer review. If you can choose the best journal for your manuscript, you will come across several issues such as a slowing career progress, missing opportunities and positions, losing your thesis score. So, now let us start by discussing the remarkable points of Eschbringer Journal Suggester. What is Eschbringer Journal Suggester? Eschbringer Journal Suggester is a fluent tool that you can apply easily. It's easily accessible and you can assign several items that cause you to find an up improved list of potential journals. An enhanced list of potential journals can help authors ascertain a core publication for their final manuscript submission. It's really user-friendly assistance on Springer online platform and journal selections. So, if you want to know that, how does a Springer Journal Suggestor work? It is better to know about this flowchart. Via the web uh, semantic technology, as you can see here, a Springer Journal Suggestor presents uh, a list of relevant journals based on inputs of manuscript title, abstract, and publishing model. From other uh, over 2,600 publications, it selects a journal that suits your research best. When you apply several significant points, the online journal suggester automatically considers similar criteria and points during your recommendations. To find the best matching journals, a Springer Journal Suggested tool considers several items, as I said here. The first one is manuscript title. The second one is manuscript text. Subject area is the third one. And then, by other refined recommendation, you can extend your research, such as empath factor, timeline, type, and several other things. Now, I think it's a good time to take an example and check the website. If you type this one, Eschbringer Journal Suggester in Google, you can find it very easy, like this one. And then after, when you click, you can see the main web page of Journal Suggester of Eschbringer, or we call it Eschbringer Nature. So you can see several tabs, several sections, as I showed you before. The first one is manuscript title. You can type your title here. The second one is manuscript text, and then after subject area. In subject area, you can find different things by scroll it down, and you can see different study fields. According to these fields, you can find different journals. And then after, there, are, there is another icon that we can refine our recommendations. If you open the link, you can see several items. The first one is minimum impact factor. You can put some uh, um, numbers, such as, for example, two, three, or everything that you want to allocate it as a minimum impact factor for the ultimate journal. Also, you can uh, see another things, me, minimum acceptance rate. By minimum acceptance rate, you can put uh, in weeks and, for example, three, four, five, everything for acceptance rates of the journal by the editorial board. And the, another one is maximum time to, uh, to first decision. You can find further uh, explanation in my previous video about Elgevier Journal Finder, and uh, I put some comments about these uh, concepts. Anyhow, for maximum time to first decision, it means that 
the journal board, the editorial board of the journal needs several weeks uh, to get the reviewers' ideas and recommendations or comments about your journals. When they receive, they try to analyze all of them and see what's the idea of the reviewers uh, about your paper. So you can uh, define here as a, a in VEX unit uh, to allocate maximum time to first decision. Also, you can see indice services. What is uh, indice services here? It means that is the journal that Springer uh, listed here for you uh, put, I mean, that uh, locate in, for example, Scopus, SCI, or other uh, services that define the most uh, criteria about the journal or not. And also the last one is all journals, open access journals and subscription zone journals. I invite you to watch my videos, uh, previous videos that I define open access and subscription ones, and you can better understand what happened in these concepts. Okay, so let's get started to put an example here. For manuscript title, I put uh, one of my uh, journal's title here. And then after for manuscript text, I uh, want to tell you and mention that don't put all your manuscript up here because if you put all the things, uh, you can see the optimized uh, journals or maybe when uh, you put the search uh, button, push the search button, after that you can see there's an, any journal for your paper. So uh, according to my experience, uh, I selected the abstract, some ex uh, important part of uh, I'm paragraph I'm in my uh, manuscript, and also some uh, parts of uh, I'm in that conclusion. And then for subject area, for the subject area, if you click this button, as I told you before, you can find different uh, fields of area. Uh, according to your manuscript, you can select everyone that you, every things that you want. But um, as I told you before in my uh, previous uh, video about LGBA Journal Finder, I recommend you to don't select anything because uh, maybe your paper put in some other fields and um, I mean that assigned to another fields and you don't have information about that. So it's better to don't select it. If you want, you can try, but uh, I don't like to select it because I, uh, according to my experience, I saw that when I, uh, I mean that may select some uh, some of them and put some limitations, then uh, I lose some of other possibilities for subject of area. Okay, for uh, find your recommendations, also there are some things I will show you after uh, the main search. Okay, let's uh, see that what's happened when I click uh, suggest journals and see what are the uh, best list of Springer journal suggester for this manuscript. You can find different things, theoretical and applied climatology, international journal of biomatology, and different others in this field of uh, paper that it is related to concept of this, this paper and subject area. So if you want to put some other things, for example, uh, if I want to, uh, for example, you can see here that in somewhere here, it is listed uh, modeling air systems and environment and that it doesn't have any impact factor. If you want to delete some of the uh, journals uh, that they uh, doesn't have any impact factor, so you can put some criteria here. For example, for if I uh, put, for example, two, it means that minimum impact factor it has. And then after try to suggest journal, then after we can see that uh, the engine motor, uh, the engines uh, sel uh, de selected that uh, option uh, without any impact factor. So uh, let's see uh, the behind. I mean that, for example, in theoretical and applied climatology, as I told you before, we can see 
type of the journal, open access, and also subscription. You can watch my video about this title and get the concept. And the impact factor is 3.4 at the first decision average is 18 days, and the acceptance rate is 40%. So it's really good list because according to your uh, priority about uh, time to first decision, or if you have enough time to get the result, you can devote a better journal with high impact factor and a flatter uh, first decision for time. Anyhow, it's really good to see that uh, what are uh, the acceptance rate, what are the first decision of each journal, and blah, blah, blah. So uh, these are all about the Springer uh, journal uh, suggester. And uh, what are the other publishers? If you want to know about this one, uh, this question, you can find also another thing. For example, uh, IEEE, Wiley, Taylor. And if you want to know all the things better, I invite you to watch the next video. Okay, at the end, please subscribe to our channel and don't uh, forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, uh, Please like the series of videos and share them with your friends. Visit our website to see AgriMassaf products uh, with this uh, address. And yours a follow and like encourage me to make more videos. Okay, at the end, see you in the next video and bye.